good weather? Yeah, that's right. I'm giving out free tickets, yeah, but nobody, yeah. seems ride, to, nobody really seems to care. <laughs> All right, let's start with this, you guys. I don't know why I'm doing this, mainly to you guys as viewers, but I, I do think it does illustrate a point here. So if you're having a little trouble sleeping, here's some of what we look at when we okay. talk about weather models that are in in relation to La Nina or El Nino. No need to focus on all the mess here, but what this really tells us is the line down the middle is neutral, meaning no uh -huh. La Nina and no El Nino. And that's the way most of the models are looking here, a little bit on either side as we head through the next six to 12 months. But there is one model right here, right there, and it's called the COLA model, which says, <laughs> wait a minute, we are headed for a big time El Nino. Is it right? Usually, when you have an outlier like this, no, absolutely not. But at least there's some sort of hope, and because they call it the COLA model, we can't just ignore that. As far as what we're looking at here over the next few months for precip, well, things are going to get better. We're still going to be above normal temperature-wise here over the next three months or so. But here's the good news. Over the past year, we've been talking about how dry we've been, and this is how most of the outlook has been dry for the Southwest. But now the models are starting to show us we have equal chances of being above or below for our precip. So that is a step in the right direction. And heck, if COLA works out, we could be in a great situation here. 67 in the metro right now, winds out of the east at 14 miles an hour. 40s and 50s off to the north, down to the south, 50s and 60s for us. Not much going on here precip wise, but we do have a few clouds across southern portions of the state. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy down there, and the slight chance at picking up a shower will be with us across southeastern New Mexico during the day tomorrow. It's not going to be widespread. It's not particularly going to be real wet, but at least we've got the shot. And then heading in to especially Saturday temperatures really start to head up across the eastern side of the state here and we will be dealing with extreme fire danger and part of our problem here is the fact that those temperatures not only going to be warm they're really going to be warm so western side of the state low 80s as we go out to the east throughout the weekend Raton in the low 80s but two can carry low 90s high 90s Roswell and near 100 in Carlsbad when you combine that with very low relative humidities and very windy conditions at times that's the area of the state we've got to watch the weekend and it really could be a rough situation for us we'll keep you posted on that but 70s and 80s across the four corners for tomorrow west winds 10 to 20 miles an hour nice through the weekend into next week we start to look at a renewed chance of showers down to the south and west temperatures here for the most part in the 80s and even low 90s for tomorrow. We will have southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Risk of precip really isn't in the forecast, but we probably will see a few more clouds. Over into the southeast, this is the only area I think we've got a shot to get a shower for tomorrow with temperatures starting to warm, but they really go up. Saturday into Sunday, close to 100 in Roswell, Carlsbad, and Artesia. 82 in Springer, 71 more in 77 in Las Vegas for tomorrow. Wind gusts up to about 30, 35 miles an hour, but still pretty nice. The problem in Las Vegas will come Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday when we start to see the winds increase. 75 in town, 67 Angel Fire, 70 in Santa Fe for tomorrow. Wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour, especially along the ridge lines. And the state capital seven day forecast looks pretty good. 82 to Harris, 80 in Estancia. West winds 15 to 25. And finally, right here in the metro, low 80s for us. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, mostly sunny skies. Overall, great setup here all the way through the weekend. We could see a few more clouds in the next week. Hey, if that cola model is right, yeah. we better start building an arc. That's exactly right. That would be one of the highest, by the way. El Nino's in history, if we can get it. What a reversal. Sports is next. Of course we